Hello, this is Francisco Cribari. Today I want to talk about um, performing BIOS updates and firmware updates using Linux. And in some cases it's possible to perform BIOS updates by just flashing the BIOS or uh, using FreeDOS. That's the case for most Dell laptops, for instance. But uh, in some cases, it's one needs to have Windows installed in order to perform a BIOS update. This is the case of this laptop here, which is a Samsung laptop that runs Arch Linux plus KDE Plasma. And um, let me show you here. In some cases, we need to update the firmware of our SSDs for those of us, mostly for those of us that run laptops. And uh, it, you can take a look at this Arch Wiki page here. There is an entry called Firmware, and it explains how to perform SSD, SSD firmware updates for several different uh, uh, manufacturers. And, but the interesting thing that I want to show you is this LVFS uh, project, which is supposed to allow users to perform firmware updates through Linux. You can take a look at this entry here and users. And, um, and it provides a brief explanation of the FWUPD, which is a simple demo. And if you use GNOME, which I don't, I run KDE Plasma, it's possible to perform some firmware updates through, <coughs> sorry, through the GNOME software. And um, this is the page that I find most useful. That's the FWUPD Arch Linux Week page. And what I did was I basically followed the instructions here. I installed those packages. And after you install and configure the service, you only need to execute a few steps here to perform firmware updates. And uh, and then I installed those packages there. I had no previous installation, so that was not an issue for me. And then I copied this uh, directory here. And um, this ESP for me is slash boot, since I am using uh, systemd boot in this machine. So my, my boot files are in boot, not in boot, slash EFI. And uh, so I copied, I created this symbolic link here. And, uh, and then since my boot files are under slash boot, I created this file here, it under etc slash fwupd slash and then the file name let me show you here and uh, that's the file i just uh, copied and pasted the contents that's because i'm my boot files are under slash boot and not under slash boot slash efi and after that all you need to do is to follow those simple steps here. And uh, I did that today to update the firmware of my color hook device, which is a device that I have to color calibrate my displays. And then, as you can see here, I just connected my color hook device to a USB port. And, uh, and then I basically ran those commands here. Uh, this get devices, and then it listed my my computer, my Samsung 
laptop. That's the model of my laptop. And um, the Skylake uh, and so on. But that's the interesting part here. That's my color hug device. And then I refresh it. That's the second uh, instruction here, refresh. Then get updates, it's here. And I'm doing that as a, norm, a regular user. And there is a disclaimer here that some updates might require root uh, writes. And after that, I basically uh, did a f an update here, update, and that uh, updated the firmware of my color hug calibration device, my colorimeter, and after that, uh, it asked me for permission to upload that information to the server, the information that I had performed. Uh, that uh, firmware update see here proceed with upload it asked me uploading firmware reports helps hardware vendors to quickly identify failing and successful updates on real devices upload report now and then i said yes and then it uploaded um, the information that i performed this firmware update so you see that's very easy and I hope that this LVFS project grows. You can take a look at uh, the information in this page here. I'll leave the links in the show notes. Hardware vendors and then you can take a look at uh, end user, developers and so on. And uh, that's something that I find quite useful and one of the very few things that I don't like about uh, running Linux is that sometimes we need to make use of uh, free DOS or even worse Windows to perform some firmware updates and this is uh, the most elegant solution I found so far so I hope you found uh, this uh, video useful if you found it useful just uh, leave a like and comment and subscribe